currently, well, 7.20 in the morning. It is early, but we have arrived a town just outside of Port Porto. We're not actually in Porto yet, but the gangways will be on the other way. I think we're pretty much being docked in right now, but we're not meant to arrive until 8. Today, I am doing an excursion. I'm not too sure how that's going to turn out with the three and a half hours of walking around. So, we're going to see how that pans out. I reckon it'll actually be less than that because I think they've probably taken into account how far it is to drive there. But, um, but yeah, um, it was really, really, really lucky last night. I really struggled being a little bit woozy this morning because of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure it wants me taking any travel. I'll just put it out of here. I probably should take travel sitting pills anyway. Um, given that I'm going to be going offshore on a coach not my favourite thing to do and I'm hoping I'm not going to be the only one turning up to it. <laughs> well no, I've got to get there for 9am but I need to get there at 8.50 which means I need to leave my room at 8.40. Um, I'm going to have some breakfast, finish changing. All right it's time for me to head off to this excursion I'm doing the Explore Oporto by fit, on fit. Um, don't actually know how many people are going to be on it because there was still loads of availability left on the site when I looked yesterday. So it's funny, it's now Wednesday. So we are over halfway through the trip now. And I just learnt the names of the couple who I met when I first boarded the ship. I've seen a few times since then. I had dinner with them yesterday and or was it lunch yesterday, I can't remember. I had a meal with them yesterday and I had a meal with them this morning as well. So yeah, I don't know anyone who's gonna go on this trip. I'm a little bit nervous because of that, but we'll be fine. I will be fine. It's just a walking tour. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna put you in my bag for now because we are gonna go on like I think like a 20 minute drive. I don't imagine there'll be much for me to film. Maybe there will be. I might change my mind when I'm on the coach and talk to you guys again. Anyway, the weather's glorious today. It's going to be a highs of like 20, uh, 26 or something, which is really nice. Let's get cracking. Got half an hour until my excursion, but I have to queue up to leave the boat. Anyway, that is the situation. I think people are already getting up anyway, and I'm rocking my McLaren wear today.
version. I'm so tired, guys. It's now quarter to one. I think I'm gonna go upstairs and have some more lunch. That was a really good walking tour, to be honest. Um, really informative. Took us around some of the amazing architecture and also into the train station with all the tiles. Yeah, it was really good. Um, again, people thought I was like 18 or 19, which is hilarious. So still absolutely killing the looking younger than I am vibe. Everyone's like, I can't believe you're traveling a solo at such a young age. And I'm like, um, again, I couldn't really find a place to stop for um, food. So again, no garlic prawns, but I'm probably gonna have to go home and make garlic prawns just to to feed my hunger for it. I've got a really thin, really, really weird thing with my eyes at the moment where I can't focus properly. I don't know if it's because I'm really tired, but I think it's really hard to read. Oh, I did get this. The souvenir shop doesn't really have any stickers, so I just got a postcard. Um, I'm gonna order a Porto sticker on online. Probably cheaper that way anyway. And then um, I can still state that I've been here. Um, I feel so sorry for the lady who was there to begin with. She had a massive fall and like she's got a black eye, she was bleeding. She said that she's twisted her foot and it's, and she's just had a knee operation. I feel so sorry for her. But the fact that she can't even enjoy Porto because of her knee and so her son has just gone off on his own. Right, I just had a nap and the captain over the tunnel thingy just uh, rang in and said that we're pretty much leaving. So now I'm in a rush to get up to the top to watch the sail away. I'll catch you guys a bit. to get myself ready for the evening um saw some dolphins just now in the sea didn't get it on camera though unfortunately but happy days anyway i'm just going down the nine levels to get back to my to my room tonight i'm seeing phil tufnell and then tomorrow it's a sea day and i'm seeing to Barker, I'm also booked in to have a dinner at a restaurant. So, yeah, I'm really tired today though. I think all the walking has tired me out. So I might go get like another 10 minute nap or something. And I have basically an hour until Phil Tufnell is on stage. And the buffet is currently closed as they're setting up for dinner. So I'm going to just have a snack i've got a couple of snacks in my room and that will do me well until i finished so by the way by the time, so the first half of the be an hour long right so then that will be lead us up to 7 7.45 and that's when i'm gonna go to the tamarind club basically using time to have lunch right now <laughs> i've missed tea so i can never leave the nice tea stuff on the buffet um so i might just like skip the instrumental set of their way and just go up and have dinner then straight after watching Phil Tafnall because I already had that booked. It's funny, you would think that I would struggle to find things to do but I'm actually finding it difficult to time manage myself and keep on track and actually go to these things. I keep like just forgetting to go to these. So yeah, um, in the meantime I think I'll watch a film after I get ready. I have what, probably about 
45 minutes until I'm needed to find a seat in the theatre so I will do a makeup and I'll watch something whilst I get ready and the snacks I have if you're wondering I brought them from home some wheat crunchies and a brunch for oat bar and um, I'm gonna get my iPad out of the safe and I'm probably gonna watch a film or like the first half of the film that I can then finish tomorrow Alright, another one. Yeah. You sometimes like a wee a drink. A wee a drink. Who in the England squad yes. was your preferred drinking partner when on tour? Well, I mean, times, times have changed a little bit. Now. Yes, thank you very much. Well done, Harry. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Tucker! to 11 so I slept for a good like three hours anyway um, I don't think I'm gonna go out and watch any more of the activities that are going on for the next hour I think I'm just gonna go to bed I really like a cup of tea I'm just gonna make one here I know it doesn't taste as nice as like a fresh cup of tea because the milk is disgusting but it'll be fine I'll be fine so I'm gonna do that um, and I'll just read through the horizon and see what's happening, but yeah, um, all in all, busy, another busy day in the neighbourhood, but I am knackered, so I'm going to go to bed early. I'll catch you guys in the morning for another sea day, tomorrow's another sea day, um, I've got booked sweet barker at 11.30 and I've booked dinner. I don't know what time dinner is, but I'm going to a, a speciality website, a speciality restaurant. I'm going to watch the rest of Founder of McDonald's, or whatever it's called. Um, I started watching that earlier. I'm just going to watch that whilst I try and fall asleep again. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my voice is beginning to go off. I'm beginning to get sick. So, another day. I've just been on on the ball for the last few days. Um, walking around and I feel like my social battery has drained completely um, because I have loved this it's been so good just to switch my brain off work and I have been loving it a lot um, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would I'm definitely thinking about of course booking another cruise once this one is done I'm liking it that much so right Good night guys. Good morning guys. Today it is a sea day. Um, and I've got to remind myself that the time has moved forward an hour. I can't get any service though, so my time is still an hour behind. So I just need to remind, remind myself every time that it's 10 to 9, not 10 to 8 in the morning right now. 
this is gonna mess up all my timings today i know um so tonight i have a um meal at one of the speciality restaurants but i'm not sure what timing so i need to go and find that out from the perception because you know what's happened is that we're now at sea and the ship's Wi-Fi, Weepy, does not tell me. Um, the Weepy just does this. Oh, just goes onto this page here saying that it can't respond. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs now for a drink. Also, I was hoping to be up for sunrise and I've missed sunrise because of the time change so not ideal and today's outfit McLaren top skirt shoes <laughs> pretty much simple easy okay it's now I don't know if you can tell it's 5 to 10 um, I've had my breakfast, I had like a, a full English, I had a full English, if you guys don't know what that means, it means I basically had bacon, fried bread, tomato, and some other stuff, I can't remember what I had, sausages and things, anyway it was really tasty, um, I also brought down and back with me a little muffin, but yeah, it's been um, much smoother this morning I can definitely tell we're moving but um I walked past the, so the solos get together thing to see if anyone was there and it was all just old people so I was like nope I'm not going to that because a lot of old people come on cruises when they are widowed um as something to do to go away with and that's not a surprise really um I'm probably one of the youngest people who is doing it so solo on this cruise um i've not actually met anyone else who has been solo or is solo who is like my age which is really disappointing but anyway um what can you do about that anyway, i think i'm gonna head over to the exchange potentially and um take part in a quiz and then after the quiz has been done, I'll go and see Subaka. Um, she is the final one on the list of people to go and see. So, yeah. Um, again, I keep me bumping with people who I've been talking to over the last couple of days. Um, I sat next to people at breakfast who I have been enjoying the last two sail aways with. It's quite cute. Um, they kind of cut themselves to themselves, they didn't really talk to me, which is quite fair enough. I mean, they're there together, they're not, they're not here to talk to me. Is it bad, actually? And I'm seeing better without my glasses on. Like that will make kids want to play you know he's so excited okay well i've had lunch and now i'm gonna go back to my room and chill for a little bit because there's not really anything going on that i'm interested in so i'm gonna go back to the room chill probably watch the rest of the mcdonald's founder film that i started watching yesterday but yeah this is the last we're coming close to the end guys we've only got showbog tomorrow and then Sunday morning, I'll be back home. Um, I think it looks like I'm going to be boarding off at like nine in the morning, which is not too bad. But um, yeah, happy days. I'm, I'm wondering how much you can hear me talking because I'm talking quite quietly. <laughs> but can you hear me? <laughs> I saw some more dolphins earlier. I'm gutted I couldn't get them on camera though, so I'm gonna just stay in here and be on a dolphin watch for a little while longer. Um, I saw two of them yesterday, 
apparently there was even a shark yesterday i didn't see that but uh, i saw two dolphins again today and they were on the side so i'm just going to be like on the lookout i guess for some dolphins and it's a rather chill day i'd say um being as a sea day there's so much to do you can't really end up going to all the things a lot of them all happen at the same time all right I'm actually not feeling that great right now. I don't know what it is. But I just got like a really bad tummy ache. I don't know why. I'm just not feeling 100%. So I'm just chilling in my room this afternoon. I don't think I'm really missing much. I mean, there's a quiz at 5.15, but I don't think I'll go to that. So uh, I'm going to lay it low, chill in bed for a little while, and hope I get over whatever I'm feeling. I've also realised that I think there's something wrong with my prescription or my eyes. Like I'm finding it really difficult to focus on with my glasses. Like my eyesight it seems to have just like really taken a hit this week. I noticed it two days ago. I don't know if it's just tiredness or what, but I'm finding it easier to see without my glasses on right now, which is bizarre. Um, I can't read anything in my with my glasses on. Like it just looks like a blurry mess. And I have to like really concentrate to try and figure it out. I feel like a grandparent, you know, doing like that, trying to read what I'm trying to say. It's not good. Yeah, I'm just not feeling 100%. Two hours and 15 minutes until I need to go to the restaurant. So I'll probably get ready about half past six as I'm just gonna do a quick little makeup thingy and then head my way but I'm gonna probably watch something in the meantime on my iPad and um yeah hope I feel better soon that's why you've not really seen much of me today not seen any more pe uh I was gonna say penguins then I've not seen any more dolphins but I'm gonna keep my eye out on them all right tonight is formal night but I'm not dressing up but I am wearing this dress, some leggings, and I did bring my heels this this trip. Um, I'm probably gonna come back after I have dinner and change into this and some jeans, but still wear my heels, so I kind of look like smart, but not smart in a way. <laughs> um, this is my way of doing it. I think the healthy restaurant I'm going to is okay with that. So I'm gonna go check the restaurant now, and then I can come back real quick if this is not okay. Also, I'm going to leave you guys in my room because I'm not going to take a bag and I don't want to carry around my camera. I'm just going to carry around my phone and my room pass. I'm just going to do some deodorant around me. It's relatively calm today as well, the sea. I'm feeling much better now. I think um, what happened is I ate something at lunch that I'm like not good with. I don't know what, it must have been something in the pasta, but um, my IBS has flared up. Anyway, I've taken some medicine, feeling much better now. So, um, all good in that regard. All right, I think that's everything. I'm gonna put you and my iPad into the safe and then head on down to um, the, beach, the beach house, which by the way, I keep calling the bay tree or the beach tree i keep on getting it wrong i think i've got it correct now the beach house so i'll i need to put you in here i just closed it <laughs> i'll catch you guys later on and i'll tell you how my dinner went later on <laughs> all right hi guys i just filmed this bit and then realized i wasn't recording but anyway um i've just had my meal I had the chicken and the chips, I'll put a picture here for you guys um, and then I had carrot cake for dessert and then I came back down here because I really needed to pee and also because I've got a, a, not a splinter, what's it called, a blister on my foot so I'm just changing my shoes and putting this on real quick. Yeah, what was the plan for now? So it's now 10 past 8. I was looking to the 9.15 Tamarind Club thing, Happy Couples Sign Up thing. That's at 9.30, so I've got an hour and 20 minutes until that happens. And then after that, 
I will probably my thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's really foggy outside. Like eerily foggy. Again, it's not as rough as it has been these last few days. So living for that. Well, I just left you running, but where is I going to have to do running? Um, I'm going to go up to deck 15 real quick and make myself a cup of tea. I'll catch up with you guys later on. Alright, it's now midnight and I just came out of watching karaoke which was really really good actually and there were some terrible singers but then there were some also really incredible amazing singers. Anyway, I just finished watching that and now I'm back in here, time to go to bed. Um, let's see. We're meant to dock. Oh, we arrive in Cherbourg at 9 a.m. Fall aboard at 6:45. Oh wow, that's a long day actually. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna actually look at this to see if it's happening tomorrow, but I'll do that shortly. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm actually really, really cold, and um, I'm just going to sort a few more things I need to pack, so I'm ready to do not as much tomorrow evening when I'm back from Sherbrock. Anyway, I can't believe that this holiday is nearly over. I have pushed my boundaries so hard. I can't look, I have been out of my comfort zone every single day and I've actually really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed because it is midnight and I think people in the rooms beside me are all asleep so I'm going to quieten down on their level and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I woke up and we are already in Cherbourg. Grunts. So I'm gonna get off the boat now and go for a wander around. I'm hoping I can at least go for a wander and then um I'll see what's gonna come next, I guess. and I'm very lost. I'm not too sure how to get back on the boat <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. I'm on the search for some crepes I think but I just had breakfast so maybe not yet. Maybe in a little while. At the moment I'm trying to find something. I don't know what I've tried to find but a park I think. Not too sure. We'll see. There's home. That is where I'm staying for the week. At least I found her. <laughs> okay, looks like I found a park. Let's see what this is like. So I'm going to try and find a tourist information point because TripAdvisor is not really giving me enough info. Wait, these toilets? Oh my god, there's toilets. Anyway, um, 
So near where the boat is, there is an aquarium. So if anything else fails, I can't find anything else to do. Um, I will go to the aquarium instead. But yeah, I'm trying to find my way to a tourist information place so I can get a map. Because I'm sure they'll have some information that I can use. But um, this is a nice little park. But again, quite boring. I'm not having a breakfast. Oh, you didn't have beautiful fries like that. <laughs> <laughs> you did you it. Take you take the photo, then you finish. <laughs> So I'm out in the aquarium. That is what we're doing today. Is looking at fish. Um, we got a discount as well. As oh, look at the colours. We've got a discount because. I'm with the cruise. That's sick. Alright, let's have a look and see what this is about. <laughs> Titanic came to Cherbourg, it was their first stop. But anyway, it was really good, actually, very good museum about Titanic, really interactive. Actually, the aquarium part was quite interactive as well. Yeah, so that was my last day at port. Tomorrow, when I next got off the boat, I will be back in Southampton, back in the UK. Um, it's funny because I don't feel like I look like I've been on holiday because I have definitely not tanned, made any colour at all, but I'm just very naturally pale. But anyway, um, I'm going to go upstairs now to deck 15 to get some food because I'm actually quite hungry. I'm not going to lie, I'm very hungry. So I'm going to go do that. We don't actually leave port for another three, like three or four hours. So I'm just going to chill, I might go upstairs and 
um, just see what's up. I might take this with me to keep on keep up to date with what is happening. It's kind of, maybe I'll take you with me. I'm not sure if I'll come back down to this room before I sail away. But yeah, Sherbog is very French. I'm gutted I couldn't find a crap anywhere, but I did have a croissant. So halfway there. Um yeah, that's two meals I failed to find that was I wanted to have. I keep doing this. I keep starting my camera and forgetting to film. So I don't even know if I actually recorded a lot of stuff today. Anyway, um I've just had some Lee what do you call it? A lunch and tea smashed together. I had that. Anyway, it's now half past four. Tonight, because I always get a bit chillier in the evenings, I'm gonna wear this again. I'm probably gonna maybe try and go down to the cinnamon restaurant because I've not been there yet. So I might go down there tonight, hopefully. We'll see. For tomorrow, it looks like my disembarkation venue is Sindhu and I leave at between 9.15 and 9.30 in the morning which is not too bad that means I'll probably get home about 12, 12.30 I think we're gonna be quite easy I think it's not gonna be too difficult to get this sorted um the weather at home let me just double check it I think it said it was gonna be like even hotter than it is here yeah it's 30 degrees oh my god tomorrow 32 degrees even so that's mega that it's been hotter at home than it has been here yeah that is what the weather is at home right now that is wild guys <laughs> wild plans have changed i fell asleep and now it's 6 30. Weather forecast for Southampton tomorrow is for a sunny day with light winds and a high temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. Ships clocks will go back one hour tonight. dinner in one of the restaurants by myself I was surrounded by three tables that were full and it was very embarrassing but I, I owned it I just played a crossword I actually still had signal so I was texting people back home well not home but I was just texting people I'm friends with because technically they're not from home but you know what I mean <laughs> well, actually, you probably don't know what I mean. Um, I've got friends all over the world, and I was speaking to them on Instagram. Anyway, the, the uh, sea state is incredible. What a beautiful September evening this is turning out to be. Do you know where I've not been yet? Is the Metropolitan. It's the only bar club place I've not been to like at all i'm not being inside i've been in the red bar by walking through it but yeah i'm all pretty much packed i've already sent my bag away so the only things i have left to pack for tomorrow are my deodorant my perfume these two plugs and of course i have um, i've still got left to unpack is my toothbrush and toothpaste what i didn't take into account when i ordered this was that it would come with these in play can't believe we are nearing the end um in 12 hours time i will be out of this room for the final time i've got to leave this room by 8 a.m i believe and I have to meet at the Saloon Club by 
when I finally so I will be getting up super super early tomorrow which I'm, I'm actually not too fast about because I am quite tired not going to lie but yeah I can't believe it I, I did this guys I did something I was terrified of doing I booked a holiday abroad to go on alone and I did it I freaking did it and you know what I will do it again and I was actually okay you know I didn't feel scared or afraid at any point whilst I was walking around so I, I can definitely do it I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be I'm presuming it's gonna be split into two parts um, I don't think any of it has gone to plan as to how I was going to film it I'm still quite scared of vlogging in public so that's why I didn't really see much when we were in crowded areas I just vlogged the surrounding areas and things but um and then <laughs> the main vlogging pits in this room <laughs> not going to lie um that's probably kind of embarrassing but anyway let me just oh. yeah just double checking those three are okay i'm gonna go to deck I don't know. I'll go to one of the decks and see what's happening. I already packed my small bag. I'm not going to carry around this old bad boy. So I will um, probably not take you guys along with me because I don't have pockets that make you fit. But I need to remember to actually bring you home with me tomorrow. Um, if you're wondering, this is what my card looked like. Ventura, Miss Catherine Marsh, Master Station B, Southampton 2nd of September until Southampton 9th of September. You pay everything using this card. You don't have to bring or take around your wallet with you. You just take this with you and you have like an onboarding spend and anything else that is extra. It will then go onto your card that you apply at the beginning of the trip I managed to spend all of my spendings I all, I put the perfume I bought in my hold luggage so I can't show you guys but um, I had like £65 left to use up so I went into the perfume shop and bought a Dior perfume I think it was a dual one I just can't remember what I bought they also had Chanel number no. five which was my mum's favorite and I, I kind of wanted to give her that one but uh, I thought I'll buy another perfume for myself probably not the best idea as I am trying to narrow my collection down but it's the first time in three or four years that I've actually added to that part of my collection so I'm saying that it's okay that dinner was nice. I had gnocchi and like um, pine nut with broccoli and like some sort of sauce. I don't know, it was quite nice. And then I had cookie dough ice cream, which again was incredible. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going to go see Millie. I'm so excited to see Millie. <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on her on the camera throughout the week and I'm aware that there's been like a massive heat wave in the UK whilst I've been away it's been, it's been warmer in the UK than it has been in Spain, Portugal or France so I'm excited to go home and like check on her and make sure everything's okay like it looked like from the webcam that she still had water she said some, some food um, I timed it so that it probably would run out tomorrow when I go home I already packed my pyjamas into my suitcase and my suitcase has already been taken because you had to have them out your side your door before you go to bed for the night um, but ideally at like half past eight, nine o'clock or so so I did that ages ago oh, the battery is running out on this 
I'm not sure if I've got my battery in my backpack or not or if it's in my luggage that's already been taken away I'll have a look but anyway bedtime I've got to be up in seven hours and I'll see you guys then maybe maybe not not to show yet Good. and just like that my time on the holiday has come to a close it's currently 20 past six in the morning so it's super 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 early leaving time isn't for three hours but i want to vacate my room early doors have a big breakfast and yeah then i'll be carrying on my way back home got to try and find my car that's gonna be interesting we are still moving just over suspectly very very slowly but we are in the dock pretty much um i can't believe i've managed to do it guys we've come to my holiday it's come to a close back to normal back to work on monday i will probably catch you guys when i get home bye and just like that i am home it is 31 degrees celsius outside right now it is sweltering it is like six or seven degrees hotter than it was in any of the places i have been to in the past week i was not expecting that heat when i came home it was already like 24 degrees at like nine in the morning this morning so something was definitely up but i'm home and that means that this is the end of this video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this this is going to be a mammoth edit for me to create and edit and upload so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye guys